Hi, my name is Scott Hebbard from Spark Systems and today I'm going to conduct a baseline diagram comparison using Enterprise Architect. This feature is a quick and easy way to visually compare the current diagram to an active baseline highlighting any elements that have been added, deleted, resized or moved. You can see on screen that I have a simple use case. In order to track changes to this use case, I first need to establish a baseline. I can select the parent package and bring up the Manage Baselines dialog. I'm going to create a new baseline entitled version 1. Now that I have established a baseline, Enterprise Architect will track any changes that occur to my diagram. For example, I can delete an element, I can resize an element, I can move an element and I can create a new element. Now that I've made the changes to my diagram, I can save these changes and then I can use the context menu on the diagram to compare to the baseline. Upon pressing the show differences button, Enterprise Architect will list all of the changes that have occurred to my diagram. Enterprise Architect uses a series of visual cues to compare the current diagram to the active baseline. For example, the currently selected element on the diagram is marked with a dot as shown to indicate that it is in focus. The colour blue is used to represent elements that have been moved or resized. The colour red has been used to identify any elements that have been deleted from the diagram. Finally, the colour green is used to represent an element that has been added to the diagram. To scroll the diagram so that you can see the original baseline position of an element, double click the item in the list. To scroll the diagram so that you can see the current model position of the element, press and hold control while you double click an item in the list. Not only can Enterprise Architect visualise changes to the diagram, but it can also roll back changes to the baseline position. For example, if I select a checkbox, you can see that Enterprise Architect will now add and restore this element to the diagram. The action is clearly specified here in this right hand column. If I select this next item, you can see that it will restore the element's position. It is also possible to resize and delete elements from the diagram. It's important to note that although the item will be deleted from the diagram, it will not be deleted from the model. I can click the apply or OK button to automatically roll back some or all of my changes. For example, I'll select two changes and hit apply. And you can see that I've now rolled back those changes to a previous baseline. For more information about conducting a baseline diagram comparison or to download a free trial, visit www.sparksystems.com.